So my name is Sun Ray Kelly. Thank you all for being present with me here today. And uh, so I want to share techniques that I've kind of discovered as to how to really activate your electromagnetic generator, or activate this place inside your being that is the, the source of your light, the source of your being, the, the very spiritual center of who you are. It's called your eternal self. And this eternal self is a being of light. And this eternal self is what animates the body. So in this recognition that we are the animators of the body, we are this vibration of energy moving out through this body all the time, coming in from the heavens, coming in from the earth, meeting within our heart, and being sent out into the world. So begin to identify yourself with this eternal part of yourself that's greater and much more who you truly are than your physical being. The physical being is our body though, and it is our instrument, and it is an opportunity to use this instrument to activate this electronic magnetic generator, which is the true source of who we are. So we are this spirit and we can bring these light forces in by merging with the atmosphere, by merging with the waters, by merging with the earth, by merging with the sun, by realizing that we are part of a universe, that we are the universe. So begin to see yourself as something much, much bigger than you've ever known yourself or ever told you who you are. Begin to see yourself as this magnificent, expanding universe, this magnificent atmosphere that surrounds the earth. You are the earth, you are the earth itself. Your heart beats with the heartbeat of the earth. You are the sun, you are the energy of the sun. You are a thousand suns, a trillion suns shining within your universe. So really allow this picture of your grandness and your greatness to permeate your being, to really believe in this truth that you are much greater and much bigger than you ever imagined yourself to be. And so these breath techniques I'm going to share with you today are to really activate your electromagnetic generator, to activate your enlightenment process. And uh, I feel it's important that these things come to light at this time. It's time for us to move to a new paradigm, to make a paradigm shift where the old ways of hate are gone and the new world of love returns. It's in the knowledge that we were put on this planet in our DNA code, we were put on this planet to caretake this beautiful planet, to caretake this garden. And so we want to return to our mission here of being enlightened beings, caretaking this beautiful planet, cultivating this beautiful planet of abundance. Abundance of energy coming in from the sun, abundance of water, abundance of fertile, beautiful earth to grow this beautiful garden. So we are energizing ourselves, we're shifting our consciousness so we are ready to do the work that we were put on earth to do, which is caretaking this garden. Uh, so this is why I'm bringing these, these techniques forward for the world. And so I hope that each one of you can find these, these techniques useful and helpful in your own conscious evolution. And uh, so let us begin. So we're gonna begin our practice with an exercise from the ancient yogis, the ancient rishis, and that's called Kapalavate, or breath of fire. And this, this, this breath is a kriya, which is a, uh, a kriya is our cleansing exercises. 
So this is a Kriya where you clean your body with the air. You're, you're scrubbing your body out. You're removing all the toxics and all the old energy. And now the thing about Kapalavati is it, it is a very active exhalation. And that's because we're pushing everything out of the body. So it's really done just with the diaphragm. The rest of the body is pretty much neutral. <laughs> but it just... And then, and then you just release an atmospheric pressure fills you back up. So there's no active inhalation in, the, in, 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 in this exercise. So it's just a... You'll do as many of these breaths as you can comfortably do. So we're just going to pump this pump and we're going to move a lot of prana, a lot of oxygen, a lot of energy, a lot of light into our body. This is how we become enlightened is by using this breath to bring in the light into us. Only do this as long as it's comfortable, as long as you're feeling like this is working for you. You could overdo it in the beginning. So be, be kind to yourself, don't overdo it, and gradually build it up day by day. So you're going from maybe 20 breaths the first time, and tomorrow maybe 30 breaths, gradually 360 breaths. And then, and then at the end of the, those breaths, the next thing we do, we call it skull shiner and what we're going to do is we're going to take all this prana that we've just taken into ourselves, all this light force, all this oxygen and we're going to let the blood, let the waters of the rivers of our life take this energy from our lungs and it's going to take it and nourish all of our body with this energy. So what we do is if we're kind of like a battery charger right now, we've got a lot of energy stored in our blood, in our oxygen, and we're going to move that into our body. And so what we're going to do is we're going to visualize this channel of light that moves up through the center of, this, of our spine. It's called the Sashumi, and it's a hollow channel of light that runs right down the center of our spine. So when we squeeze the anus sphincterus muscle, malabandha, and we squeeze the stomach muscles, the udhyanabandha, and then we put the chin down, and we lock the chin in here. Here, our hands are in this mudra. We're in this pyramid shape. We're in a, so we're a pyramid sitting here of light, and we're moving this energy up the spine, up the shishumi. And it starts at the base of the spine. In the base of the spine, there is a threefold flame that burns within the base of our spine in the base jar. That threefold flame is, first of all, it's the yellow flame of love's wisdom. And then there's the red flame of love's passion and the blue flame of love's will. So these spiral up and turn into white light as they merge and spiral together and move up our spine. And again, now they're coming out the top of the head, and it's called Skull Shiner. You are sending your light out into the universe here, out into the world, out into your community. So, again, take it, first of all, a really nice, deep exhalation, and just let everything go. Really go deep into the exhalation. Surrendering, surrendering. And then fill yourself up, inhaling, inhaling, blowing up your balloon, becoming bigger, becoming big and huge. And now we squeeze that energy, that bigness, and we squeeze it and we nourish our body. We nourish our temple.
lot of times when you're squeezing this energy and you're vitalizing your body, your body will start responding to this and uh, and yeah, just be prepared to go for a kind of a ride with this stuff and it's actually gonna, gonna change everything. And then a good exhalation, complete, let it all go into gravity, let it all get sucked out of you. And fill yourself up with prana. And use your Indiana Bandha, Mala Bandha, Jala Bandha, squeeze that energy. Exhalation, complete inhalation here. So now what we want to visualize is another infinity sign. This one is a vertical infinity sign. And as you inhale, the air comes up, 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 up. It crowns at the top of the head and then it comes down. <sighs> exhaling down, exhaling, and then around at the base of your spine. And the inhale begins, coming up, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Using our power of visualization to see this infinity sign in front of us, and allowing our breath to move with this infinity sign. Constantly moving in a static motion. You are the universe in a static motion. Feel that and feel right here at each time this infinity crosses within your heart. Here it becomes rose color. Here we send this love out into the world. Here we expand this light into our Torah into our fields of energy. The next breath that we go into is called Bastrika. And that breath, and we move from a passive inhalation to an active inhalation. So we're actually, we're pumping it out very dynamically with this diaphragm lift and we're inhaling. We're really starting to use the body now to incorporate and really bring more air in. So it's not just a passive atmospheric pressure inhalation, it's a forceful inhalation. It's using the dynamics of the body to bring more air into it. So, so what we see here is we're in this horse stance. We've got, and our hands are on our knees here, so we're supported here. And uh, so this, when we exhale, we want to curl curl our spine so it's curling up like this and we're squeezing down so we're cupping and as we're inhaling we're uncurling that spine and we're lifting up and out like this so one is going in in and squeezing in and the next one is opening out so we're using the whole spinal movement in in these exercises so it's This becomes very dynamic and you really start taking in a lot of energy into your body here. And so don't be surprised if things start happening and like you could become lightheaded, dizzy. You can find yourself 
all of a sudden in the next room over there. Uh, no telling what can happen with these exercises. Uh, so just take your time, move slowly, do Kapalavate a lot, slowly move into Bastrika. But this Bastrika comes with a, a little bit of a warning. Just know that you are going to become so much more light through these processes that you will start to feel light and you will start to float through your life and move on the waves of time in an effortless motion and life will no longer be a struggle but will be a joy to experience as every moment is filled with this incredible light this incredible love for the planet this love for the waters and the earth so so we're going to do do that bastrika one more time again hands are here the spine as you exhale, it curls. This, <clears throat> you're curling, you're tightening. Everything's coming in together, squeezing, becoming nothing, becoming empty. And as you expand, so you can activate the knees in this too, the hands. So as you exhale, it all comes in. And as you inhale, it all opens up. you do get light you do start to float around and it's kind of a, a an anti-gravity machine uh, and will uh, will make you very light light-headed light 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 and we are the light you are the light and so and again again after we do do a, do several rounds of these uh, these pastrika, We're going to do our Mala Bandha, Jala Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, squeezing, taking in that light, squeezing it up the spine. Feel the nourishment of the sun on your fields. Feel the steam rising out of your body. Like a fresh spring day. And so, so first breath, Kapalavate. Second breath, Pastrika. And then from Pastrika, our next breath, opening your wings. Uh, opening your wings is a very gentle hand start here at your heart center. And they start to open and expand. Here at the top, we visualize a spiral of light ascending out into the heavens. And an exhalation. You're pushing out, you're pushing everything down, down, in, 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 into emptiness. Visualizing a spiral of light coming out of the bottom of your spine by rolling down and in. Put your, bring your hands, make this mudra, put your hands here. So, Complete emptiness, complete fullness. So moving between complete fullness, visualizing spiral coming out of your head, moving up into the heavens, exhaling down, 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 in, in, in. Spiral descending, 
down and in, right down into the center of the earth, right to the core of our earthly mother. And then coming out of the bottom of the earth, rising up, up, around the earth, and up, and receiving the heavens, receiving the sun, and then bringing it back down. Speed it up. Take it over the top, take it over the top and down the center, over the top and down the center, activating your torus, feeling that torus, feeling that energy field, that magnetic field that is your own magnetic field. Feel that energy field. That energy is moving up, 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 and then it descends. So gravity pulls it down, 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 and then it rises back up. Anti-gravity pulls it up. Anti-gravity ascends us into the heavens, and then we come down. Gravity, emptiness, enter the nothing, and rise again into the fullness of your being. Life is a dance between fullness and emptiness. Fullness and emptiness. <laughs> and I must warn you that you will start eliminating toxic material out of your body through mucus, through cathartic release. And so I always want to give you the freedom to do what you need to do with that, but basically to let it go. With the cathartic release, if you're feeling a cathartic release or something, go into it and feel it. <laughs> This is how we kind of eliminate all this pent up stored energy out of our body as we just let the body shake it out. <laughs> so that's, it's always good to do. It's always good to get that stuff out because what we want to do is in every breath, we want to go into the fullness of our life we want to go into the emptiness. And like I say, in between the fullness and the empties is where the Maddie slips between the worlds. So we're going to let that happen. So that's the Toron, activating the Toron. And you can do it both ways. You can go up, up to the heavens, and then down. Up and down are up and down, up and down. It's good to reverse those two, just to reverse polarities and feel the difference there. Feel which one really works more, more for you. Which one is more, more in line with who you are. I personally, I like this one as opposed to this one but I like to do both just to make sure I stay balanced. Gradually slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. One more round, slow it down. Complete exhalation now. Udiana Banda, Jala Banda, Mala Banda. Nourish your being. Spreading your wings. 
Moods. Taurus Activation. Infinity Breath. So this breath I call the Infinite Breath. And really, because you're moving on this infinite pattern here, this infinity pattern. And you're going around your door on. And you're kind of weaving this tapestry of light to do this. And you'll find that you actually move into a place of spontaneous, perpetual motion. And so you just let yourself ride on that motion. It becomes effortless. You're just moving and breathing. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Tiny breaths right around your core. Still moving in that infinite infinity pattern. But, and exhaling every time those hands come together. Exhale. So one literally pushes the other, and that's where this perpetual motion comes into play. It's effortless. You just let it happen. Just let it move. And then synchronize the breath with it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. the other feel this energy field feel this ball of light right in front of you this ball of light is in front of you that is in between your hands there's enough energy in this ball of light right here to boil the oceans after you've taken in all this energy to use again your your mudras Vienna Banda, Stomach Lock, Mala Banda, Anus Lock, Jala Banda, Chin Lock, and take in all that prana that you've received, all that atmosphere that we've taken into ourselves. And we're going to let the blood, the waters of life, carry that and nourish our entire being. So we help that out by squeezing these, these locks and squeezing that energy up the Shishumi. We move into the shoulder stand. And uh, first of all, we just sit in this, which is called full forward bend. And you just, well, here what we want to do is we want to pull and stretch out through the bottoms of our heels. And we want to, here we use the breath again. Exhaling, curling down, dropping, inhaling, curling up and back. <sighs> so 
So in your yoga practice, if you can start to incorporate this breath work into your asana practice, it will greatly enhance the benefits of the yoga. <coughs> so, and, and so we're gonna move into, what is the shoulder step? And then sometimes we'll take a little opportunity here to do a little leg lift to strengthen our core muscles. Lifting them up, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, and over we go into the plow. And then up into the shoulder stand. The mother of the asadas, the shoulder stand. As you come out of it, you want to roll the spine down slowly, one vertebrae at a time, lengthening the spine as you go. Ha, ah, ah. Here we find ourselves in Shavasan, the corpse pose, Shavasan. And here's where we begin, we allow our body to settle. And we allow a deep relaxation to move in. We feel the nourishment of the breath, of the atmosphere. We allow our body to sink melt into the earth. We allow our heartbeat to tune into the heartbeat of the earth. And we let our heartbeat as one with the mother earth. We just gently relax, we completely relax, we let go. dissolve into the nothing. We feel the vastness of the nothing, the emptiness. We are the emptiness. We are the vacuum. And slowly we begin to increase our breath now. Return to the body, we return. And so move your fingers and move your toes and let your body just kind of. And then come up to a seated position. So on this day, this concludes our, our practice. Please take this practice, run with it, have fun with it, see what, see what it does for you.